I'd like to call to order the Rose Township regular Township Board meeting on June 8th, 2022. We are at 9080 Mason Street in Holly, Michigan. Uh, we will have the regular township agenda as well as the 2023 budget and 2022 tax rate public hearing today. Um, it is 7.01. Would you like to rise and say the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Can I have a roll call, please? Mr. Gamka? Here. Ms. Miller? Here. Mr. Noble is excused. Ms. Walls? Yes. Here's Shive Snyder. I'd like to move to excuse, excuse uh, Trustee Noble, please. I'll second. Um, and I did talk to him today, and he said he'll be watching uh, well, as soon as this is um, uploaded. So, hi, Glenn. Get well soon. Yes, absolutely. And... Um, so we have a motion to approve. Excuse him. Could I have a roll call, please? Ms. Miller, yes. Mr. Noble? Gone. Soon to be back. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. And then um, next we have approval of the agenda. Would anybody like to move to, pay to uh, approve the agenda? I move to approve the agenda. Motion from Malls. Help support. Support from Gamka. Any changes? As amend as presented. Okay. Roll call, please. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. Uh, next, we have approval of the consent agenda. I have. I find New Business Freedom of Information Act appeal very confusing to read. It doesn't really, it's not really clear on what is going on here. I don't understand several of these sentences. Um, maybe there are other sentences that are prior to that or after that, but um, could we just change that? To Mr. Mulhaville discussed the appeal for the FOIA from Holly Township. He reviewed the response that the township provided and leave it at that because some of this other it's not verbatim but it doesn't really make sense the way it's presented and otherwise I would move to uh, when I got something on page oh. four down under the higher report um, virtual learning will be offered in the fall of 2022 Page four. Yeah. Down to the higher report. Last sentence is what she's talking about. <clears throat> it says 2021, it should be C. 2022. Okay. I'd like to uh, move to approve the consent agenda with the changes. We're missing the higher report. I'm missing the higher report. I thought I got one, but I looked, I couldn't find it. Uh, I think that Miss Miller gets them, but she won't put them in because it might be, make me look good. So. I put everything in that I received, Miss. I swear I had one, but I looked I today and I couldn't it. find it. So if one of you has it, you're in charge of Haya. Why don't you make sure that we get I it? I did, and you know what? I called Tina to see if they had it, and she was on vacation. And um, it, 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 and I got it. I, I, she didn't send it to me, so it doesn't matter. She didn't anyway. send it to me either, so. Yeah, I used to get them, so I'm sure you probably get them. Right. Okay, so we have approval of the <laughs> consent agenda with the changes, excluding the higher report. Motion from Scheib Snyder. Support. Support. 
Gamka. Roll call. Ms. Walls. Yes. Mr. Gamka. Yes. Ms. Miller. Yes. Ms. Scheibsider. Yes. Motion carries. We don't have any presentations. At this time, we'll accept brief public comments on agenda items, but not on the agenda items that are the public hearing, because we're going to be opening the public hearing after the um, uh, after the public comment. So if you have public comment on something that's on the agenda that is not pertaining to the hearing, which is about the proposed budget and the uh, the tax rate for Rose Township. Make, you can make a comment if it's on the agenda item. My name is Dan Johnson. I live at 8635 Tipsco Trail, Holly, Michigan. I have a question regarding the minutes um, from last month. Uh, there were some things that were stated that weren't in there. One of them was the attorney bill that Debbie Miller was given. I was not here at the meeting where you guys approved the $30,000 or up to $30,000. So my question is, if this was for labor relations regarding NACFA, why would Rose Township be paying for this? That should have been a NACFA item, and it should have gone to the NACFA board. Rose Township should not be paying all that. OK, that's not an agenda item? It's in the minutes. OK, the agenda items are, I'm sorry, <laughs> new business. Um, a, B, C, D, E, or F. Um, that's what the agenda items are. Unfinished and new agenda items only. For brief public, it says right on the agenda. And I'm saying it says on the minutes you guys just discussed corrections to them. Um, does anybody else have a public comment? Are you okay? You're the one that was shaking your head. No, that was you watch. No, I was watching you. Watch you shake your head. I was imitating you, sweetie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anybody else have any comments? All right. Um, now we're going to open the public hearing. The public hearing is on the proposed Rose Township budget for fiscal year 2023, covering estimated revenue, proposed expenditures, and proposed 2022 tax rate for Rose Township. The property tax millage rate proposed to be levied to support the proposed budget. So it is 708. And there were budgets provided at the entrance. Does anybody have any comments on the budget? I got those this morning. I got those this morning, the one that's this one? that one right there that says okay. proposed budget. But you don't put a stamp on it or I did not. Okay. I received it this morning from the supervisor. I finished it last night. The corrections to the one that was presented earlier. There was just a few changes. After I reviewed it, there were a few things that I did that my map was a little bit off. Does anybody else have anything? And one more question. Um, I do have a financial background, but this this budget is so top line general that unless I was a soothsayer, I could never tell what's in it. Is there any way that we can get the detail that supports this budget, or do we have to file that? That would be something we'd probably have to create for you. So, right. I mean, you don't have it on your computer. I mean, how do you know what's in these line items? Because like, we deal with it every time we pay the bills. I deal with it um, to make sure there's money in the funds to do the budget amendments. If you have a particular question about a line item, I can explain it to you I, if you would like. Hmm? It's every line item. Um, oh. I'm not educated enough or familiar enough with how you do business here, so there's no way I can look at this and understand what anybody's doing. Because the, the categories are so general mm -hmm. that one would never know what's in it. So, I mean, we, I, I 
don't want to, we don't have to discuss this now, but maybe I can come in and talk to Paul and find out what the detail is mm -hmm. behind it. I'll try, sure. to, I'll try to provide some detail when we go through it this evening yeah, okay. um, because I, I understand that some of these, you know, dog license, right, you, right, you can figure that out, you know, uh, that makes sense. Um, well, the, the, land division fees, but zoning, F, there are some things in here that aren't really explainable just by what the line item is described right. as. Right. Yeah. Well, you're welcome to come in and I'll explain it to you. Absolutely. Anybody else? No? All right. 7-11, I close the public hearing. Our new business is the proposed um, fiscal year 2023 budget. Right. Everybody got the updated version of it? Put in the um, tax rate we'll be discussing. Which is in the resolution. Uh, the budget needs to be approved by line uh, cost center. Not line item, but we can go through some of these line items like I just said I would do. I think some of that are hard to understand. Um, there's line item 10100476, zero, zero, other permits. The, the line permit fees is for line adjustment, land adjustments in line adjustments in land. So you're having a parcel and you're going to change, uh, maybe you have 20 acres and you want, you, and your house is on it and you want to take it into a smaller acreage, you'll do what we call a line adjustment. So there's a fee for that. So this is revenue. Um, revenue sharing is from the state. Fees for different boards, Board of Appeal fees um, for applications, Planning Commission fees could possibly like special land use applications. So the zoning application fees are zoning permits. Um, the fines could be court ordered court order fines. You see that in the past we took in $500, so that we really don't know what we're going to get in some of these revenues. So it's just kind of an educated guess. Um, the interest dividends are general interest and quarterly income bank state from bank statements. Uh, the cable TV receipts is cable franchise fees. Um, the video portion of cable, we don't get any money for internet. Um, the township doesn't, but we do get, um, if you have like Comcast and you have cable TV. Um, tower lease receipts, that we, we lease the tower that is behind station three on um, Road Center Road and uh, Milford Road. We lease that to the American Towers, and we get money for that um, every year. I didn't do anything with donations and contributions because every once in a while we get something, but I didn't add anything this year. The pest control is the West Nile. Um, things that we have upstairs, the personal protection and the larvicides that are upstairs and free to the residents of Rose Township that uh, it's not really a grant, but it's a reimbursement fund that we do. The special, the SAD stands for Special Assessment Districts, and we get 3% for managing those accounts, which are generally for lakes and private roads. The master plan um, would come out at other income if somebody wanted to purchase a master plan. Um, subpoena record fees, FOIA fees would go into that account. Um, Summer tax fee is what we um, get paid to collect the taxes for the school. And election reimbursements. So that is the estimate, that's what is in the line items for estimated revenue, which is a total of $1,216,572.
Okay, I'll make a motion to accept the revenues at one million two hundred sixteen thousand five hundred seventy-two dollars as presented. Support. Motion from Campco. Support from Malls. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Gampa? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Ms. Schreiber? Yes. Uh, next, we have Department 101 trustees. I think that's pretty explainable their wages, taxes, retirement, and mileage. You're, you're stating that the trustees make a considerable lot more money than other trustees? That, that's, my, yeah, that's my impression, but I don't have any facts about it. Right. It's, it's I, I think they're probably about average. Some of them are paid for meetings. I don't know anybody that gets $50 a meeting. Do you guys? I think they were well, like 150 think, well, and When you go out state, when you get out of the tri-county area, it drops down a lot. In the tri-county right. area, you know, Oakland, Wayne, and yeah, even Macomb, it's, they're, they're, it's a much higher. You go outside those tri-county area, you're going to see things drop off considerably. But you guys kind of look at that and you say, okay, this, are we paying about the same as everybody else is? And you kind of go through a review of that? Yes. We're actually on the low run, to be honest with you. At one time, the I know one time about 2010, we were providing Medicare for, or excuse me, um, Blue Cross for. 2008. For 2008, we were providing uh, Blue Cross for the trustees, and it got too expensive, so we discontinued that. Right. And they gave them a little bump in in relation, a little bump up because so uh, Blue Cross was getting so expensive, and no one provided that. So I that if that's just a recollection. Yeah. At confirm. that time, we got a hundred dollars a meeting, and uh, we would get. It health insurance and it was Dave uh, Gordon and myself and it got too expensive so Dave and I um, said we didn't need to have the health insurance anymore so they gave us a little bit more money and it was we based it on I believe how many meetings we attended at the time because I was on several boards at the time so I would get a hundred dollars per board I was on planning for eight years and I was on I, I can't even remember I don't know, a few other parts, I think, different meetings that I would get paid for. So that's where they established that. Yeah, and then the insurance company said they're per diem positions and they're not going to cover it. So, um... So in your opinion, they're pretty fair? Uh, yes. And actually, like I said, probably on... For the other... On the, the and the On the other... For the other, the administrators, and probably on the lower side. Right. But, okay, so we have um, $19,513 for um, the trustees, Department 101. Motion from... I'll make, I'll make a motion that we accept the um, Department 101 trustees as presented. Support? I'll support. Roll call, please. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Scheibsnader? Yes. Department 171, Supervisor. Anybody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion. The Supervisor has prevented, as presented, um, Department 171. One hundred seven thousand eight hundred nine dollars. Support. Gambica walls. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Ms. Walls. Yes. Mr. Gambica. Yes. Ms. Miller. Yes. Ms. Scheib Cider. Yes. Motion carries. Um, Department one ninety one elections. 
is there no money in election inspector services? Where do you pay those people from? What account? I think everything comes to the reimbursable election expenses. Is that correct, Debbie? No. Okay. Election inspector services. Yeah, you didn't take anything out of it. There's, you got $22,000. Mm -hmm. I had 25000 I think she's talking about nothing was taken yeah. out from it. But it's, um... There's a zero. The last election was reimbursable. So it comes out, like I said, out by the reimbursable election yeah. expenses. Okay, that's yeah. what. But when you that was, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead. No, you had a question. What is your question? What, when you pay them from the, the, their checks that we just approved, what, what line item do you take those out of? That comes out of general fund. It doesn't come out of payroll. Where, though? Which line item? Oh, let's see. That would be 101-191-802-001. Pardon me? Election Inspector Services. Election Inspector Services. Okay. And I had requested 25000 and I, Diane gave me 22000 I have two huge elections, maybe three this year. I still don't see where I, you took it. I still don't understand where you took it out of. I, which page are we on? I mean, I still don't, these don't have pages. Under general so services? So I'm responsible for three departments, elections, the clerk, and the cemetery. Okay, but the, when you make those checks, which which line item do you take it out of? Pardon me? I think they go in and then they go out to zero when they get reimbursed on them. No, they shouldn't be going out to zero. That the the budget shouldn't be right. a, amended. You know, well, prior to it should show up here. So, so if, that's the, one, if that's being changed, that's not correct. Well, this it just says this first one is act the actual activity through six thirty twenty two, and then there's the the original budget in there. It is one of the only departments that has the going from 81.578 down to 78.500. What was the reason for that? I don't know. It I was the, asked for, the like I said, I was given three, I have three departments I'm responsible for. I turned in three budgets and everything I asked for was knocked down. Elections is very important. This is our source of our democracy. So I don't understand why somebody who doesn't even know anything about elections would knock down my election account. Well, Supervisors just don't do that to basing clerks. It, when I base it on past amounts spent, and I see but that we had... But you didn't even a, talk to me. I'm the one responsible had, for these departments. We had an departments. election this year for $20,000. Right, reimbursable And, and then there's schools, 80. So. I assume that it was... Well... Well, the biggest, biggest drop is in repair and maintenance, seventeen five down to ten. Is that and that that's understandable? That's what she. I have a, that's, that's what she asked for. I I asked the ten. For, I asked for twenty five because I'm going to have to buy new equipment. This she year. asked twenty five where? Uh, let's see, clerks, um, repairs and maintenance. I have a. Running every every year, support for the machines. They were just out this week, at least forty eight hundred dollars. I'm going to have to replace some of my electronic poll books, so I had requested twenty five thousand, but I got. What did I get back? Ten. You asked twenty five thousand dollars for that line item for that repairs and for repairs and maintenance because we're going to have to replace some electronic poll books, and like I said, we have a support fee to heart every year. It's a minimum of $4,800 for them to come out and uh, work on our machines. So you want... I have your budgets going to that one item. You want repairs and maintenance to be 25000 That's what I had asked for. Okay. We can yeah, raise you have that a up. I had... Supports that number? Oh, just a question. Yeah, I'm going to have to replace the yeah. electronic poll books. Maybe. Why would you have to replace them? Aren't they just computers? Right, which is what the elections are run on. I know, but why would you have to buy new ones? 
Well, let's see. The first group of like kind of poll books I got I was one of the first clerks in the state to um, get a grant. So I got all my first set of electronic poll books uh, as a grant. So I didn't we didn't pay for anything. Then those had to be replaced, um, and now I'm on my. This would be the third set of electronic poll books. They're laptops. They only last for so long. They are Two about years. eight years old right now. So since. Since the election is run on the electronic poll book, it's very uh, important that you keep them up to date. What happens to the old ones? They go back to um, IT, right? So, I had requested $95,000 for the elections department. Um, but it came back $78,500, so it was $16,500 less than what I requested. I didn't give everybody what they requested. I mean, you even asked for Right, but the, you should ask the people that are doing the job what they you really even need. Asked I, for, that's what I submitted. What I, I do the job, I know what I need. Well, sometimes I have to, like, change the numbers around to make sure, you know, we spread it throughout the whole township. Like, you also asked for 10% on your increase in your pay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're at. I, I'll. Um, I didn't change it. that. No, you didn't. I didn't do ten percent for anybody. No, I didn't. Um, Ninety-three thousand five hundred for um, elections. What is it going to be? Ninety-three thousand five hundred. I'm. I'm changing that one line item, repairs and maintenance, to twenty-five thousand from ten thousand. And just to be fair, could you share with the community? Just so we all know, you know, it's just on machinery or what? Yeah, we, we have the electronic call books. We have two huge elections this year, so it's going to be more costly this year. Yeah. We may have a third election, but we'll see. But for now, we have August um, 2nd and what, November 8th, I think it is. So. I'll make a motion to approve the elections department 191. Ninety-three thousand five hundred. House support. Driver roll call, please. Ms. Walls. Yes. Mr. Gamka. Yes. Ms. Miller. Yes. Ms. Scheibsider. Yes. Next, we have Department Two Hundred Nine Assessor. This is um, fifty-six thousand. $38. Would anybody like to make a motion? I'll make a motion to support uh, contract assessor as presented. $56,038. Support. Motion from Gampka, support from Walls. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Gampka? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. Uh, next we have Department 215 Clerk. I'll make a motion to approve 215 Clerk in the amount of $148,813. I'll support. That's not what I submitted. I submitted 157 I know. I didn't give the 10% increases um, that you asked for. So that pretty much takes the tax and everything else. Well, and down. the other thing is, um, I had asked for the health insurance. You've still got us at 8400 Yes, I didn't make any changes on that for anybody. 175 um, in lieu of. Yeah, well, the case in lieu of, we've been stuck at 8,400 for the last several years, but your insurance keeps going up, but ours never does. Um, the township is paying uh, $13,330.56, of which 80% is paid for by the township. You pay 20%, so that would be $10,664 divided by two because we're supposed to. That all of us that don't get insurance through the township, get insurance through our, our spouses or whatever, uh, we're supposed to get half of that amount, which would be $5,332. Over at NACFA, we give them $2,000. 
for if they don't take the insurance. We just we were just discussing that, and I think they get one. This is it, not they, Well, I'm just saying, as you say, everybody else. There's not there's not a set amount. It, Most it, places. Well, don't I know give the anything. supervisor and the and your deputy get the insurance, but the rest of us we have to sign a waiver that we will not take the insurance. Therefore, we should be getting half of the 80 percent that the township pays for Diane, which would be. And that's why I increased my budget. Everybody. Because there's uh, myself, my deputy, um, Mr. Gamka doesn't get it, and Mr. Plews. So there's four of us that don't take insurance through the township because we can get it through our spouse, or Mr. Uh, Gamka has Medicare. And but you also have it where you uh, are, have always been offered to take it as, as well. No, so, we sign a waiver. That I can get it under my husband's insurance. Well, that's, so, that's what I'm so saying. You, everybody had the same Otherwise, you know, chance to get the insurance. Otherwise, we would each be charging the township thirteen to $15,000 each of us. So, well, in, in the private world out there, you wouldn't get anything. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think it's kind of generous, and honestly, well, I, we I, I, mean, I never, and I have to pay I never put my children on either when I had it either, so I... Didn't yeah, add my no, kids. I never added my family. Well, anyhow, I made, I, I you had one child on your insurance. Yes, you did. Really? And it, I don't know who did that. You did. <gasps> I, I just don't think it's fair because we, we've been stuck at this dollar amount where your insurance keeps going up, the township pays more. That's not actually, I was surprised it it's didn't just, go up it's, that much. It's not fair to all of us that don't take insurance through the township, otherwise it would be a lot more money. So this is $4,200 a year. I think you should increase it to $5,300 for each of us. I'm not going to do that. My motion stands. Does anybody have any other discussion? No. Mm -hmm. Can we vote? Yes, roll call. What's the dollar amount? $148,813. Ms. Miller, I don't have a choice, do I? Yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. Motion carries. Next we have Department 247 <laughs> Board of Review. Make a, a motion to accept the um, Department 247 Board of Review as presented for $1,938. Support. Motion from Gamka, support from Walls. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. Motion carries. Next, we have Department 253, Treasurer. The amount 140747 Can I have a motion for support? I make a motion to um, um, uh, support Department 253 for one. Hundred forty thousand seven hundred forty-seven dollars as presented. Oh, support. And malls. Motion from Gamka. Support from malls. Uh, could I have a? Or was there any discussion? If Paul's on Medicare, why is he getting health insurance? I don't get health insurance. It says fifteen thousand dollars here. We get we get three hundred fifty dollars a month. It's his deputy. Yeah, it's my deputy, but his deputy gets health insurance, and he gets a little. His deputy actually gets health insurance. I understand that. And then the, the others get in lieu of the exact same amount. And he gets in lieu of because he's got Medicare. Could I have a, a roll call, please? Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. Motion carries. Next we have Department 265, Building and Grounds. This is... Um, a lot of this is Dave. Was there anything I needed to? Oh. So I did put some repairs and maintenance in here that I wanted to discuss since we've gotten to the point where the building's um, looking decent. We've had we're having the exterior painted. The interior has been painted. Um, we did do some changes to that built-in shelf upstairs in the old conference room. It needs flooring now, and the baseboard needs to be replaced in those areas. 
um, those are something I would like to look into this year as well as the the office that is next to yours that isn't being used I would like to make that into a conference room which would be simply just cleaning it out and putting a table in where it can seat we'll measure and see what's you know accurate for as far as have, being able to have a handicap my access. storage unit yeah, <laughs> the office space. I don't have any room. That's I got all my election well, stuff in. We're going to turn it into a conference room and use it because it's office space. Where and would we, you like me to put all my election that. stuff in, Diane? I'm just, I think they, you cleared a bunch of spots down here, didn't you? It's full. It's full. Well, it's office. It's office space, and um, that way we could have closed sessions and have actually have a door to close. Conference room upstairs. Yeah, well, that she wants to do the, the shelf change. Mm. Then we would have to purge. Emil's office is what she's talking about. Yeah, but I'm talking about this is already the existing conference room. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's the biggest um, office in the building. We don't have a place for closed sessions. You, you could use it for people um, doing absentee ballots or filling out ballots here. Um, we'll have to look into that I it's it's the, probably the best office in the building and it's just being well, good boxes you, dumped you in designated this is a conference room excuse me when you and I and Paul uh, had a, a meeting you said this was the conference room and we met here so I guess I don't see you've got this room you've got an existing what I'll call a conference room mm -hmm. if you want to Pay more money for shelving, corner shelving unit. No, I don't want to pay any more money. There's already a shelving unit in there. She wants yeah. to buy a table and chairs. Uh, yeah, thank you. I want to buy a table and chairs and clean, and clean about, it out. How about the carpet that's cut out and the baseboard stuff? Yeah, that's part of the... That's uh, part of the painting contract. Yeah, thanks. No, it's not part thank of the painting you. contract. It's part of what I'm talking about doing next. Thanks. When I came in here, uh, the conference room had all mismatched chairs. There, everything was all scuffed up. Um, I... I think we should be proud of our facilities and, you know, you, you, so you, you can too. So, so we have um, Department 265 Building and Grounds in the amount of $60,000 and I make a motion 60, to 60,014, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll make a motion to um, accept Department 265 for $60,014 as presented. Support. Gamkin Walls. Could I have a roll call, please? Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Ms. Schneider? Yes. Next, we have Department 287, Public Education Government. Oh, I didn't put anything on here. I wonder why it came up. Oh, because there was in the past. Um, Department 289, General Services. Let me ask you a question, and you guys have probably had these discussions before, but the Township Hall renovation, that's not this one, is it? Is it another building? That's the historic one that's on the corner. For 100000 went down to thirty. Did we spend money this year on that? Uh, not, well, let's see, where's that? Uh, um, look yeah, we spent 19000 That's some plans, was it? I thought that was the architect was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was mostly drawings and um, advice. I'm not. I'm hoping to do. I'm hoping to do some kind of improvements there, but it will have to be decided by the board. So I just put some money in the in that line item for now, and I reduced it. And would that be shared with NACPA or with their? How big is it anyway? Is it larger than this place? Yeah. The, the, the main room, the meeting room, is larger than this. Yeah. So you could have meetings there. And stuff. Like to have meetings there. Um, Debbie uses it for the absentee ballots. It needs to be um, handicap accessible. And it's not yet. It's not. It's code. it's not up to code. No, and that's what we're working on. And we got some quotes, and they were, I believe, the entire board thought too expensive. But there's other avenues, and so I'd like to stick those out, and just in the board, of course, will decide what to do. But the only use that has been used in the last many years is for Debbie. In the absentee voting. It used to be our meeting hall but until this came here. here. When I been? was first elected, we met in How that many hall. How years has it been that's only been Debbie using it for elections? 
Headwaters used it. Headwaters used it, yeah. I've had meetings in there, just small meetings. Um, the way you can rent it out and get some money for Well, rent it out, and also I have a heritage group that um, we started like six, seven years ago, and we would like to hold events there. I also would like, of course, Debbie can use it for elections, and I would also like it to have something if we were ever to have... Um, where we had to distribute water or food or something, if there was something uh, in, that's something we, I, everybody has on the radar now because times have changed. So that is something that would be a perfect hall to distribute food or even have um, events at. And like you said, rent, it's, it would be small, so showers, small. you know, small showers, um, small weddings, I guess. But yes, that would be, uh, it would generate some money at least maybe to keep the lights on and, um, <coughs> We could plan some events there. But none of that can happen until it's brought up to code, correct? Right. Uh, let's see, there's some things on here. Let's see if there's some that you might want to understand a little bit. Contractual services are open schools. The, the website services are webmasters and, are, and Comcast. Computer services are IT Right and BSNA, which are the people that take care of our, our computers, and then they're also our BSNA is our programs. Um, again, professional services, if we could remove the word architect, because I'm not using that again this year for architects. The um, $8,000, I'm actually reached out to a firm to discuss updating our policies. I sent them to them to look at and they said we pretty much need to start from scratch. They're just so outdated. Um, computer expenses. I think I already said that IT right and web matters. Uh, codification is when we create ordinances, they have to be um, codified. And so then they're put into a print, a legal print. Um, training and dues. Um, is a, everyone election? All right, well, and then we have lease payments for our printers and our, our copier and our mailing pinty bone machine. And um, of course, insurance is our workman's comp, brown and brown, and our accident fund. And the amount of that department 289 is 171 300 171300 Would anybody like to move to? I'll move that we um, accept Department 289, $171,300 as presented. Support. Support from Walls. Motion yep. from Gamp. Oh. Anyone have any more discussion? Can I have a roll call, please? Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls, yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Scheibsider? Yes. Department 290, transfer to other funds, $913,070. Doing that. I'll make a motion. Scheibsider? Support. Walls? Any discussion? Roll call, please. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamko? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Mr. Noble? Oh, I mean, Ms. Stipesider, I'm sorry. I wish Mr. Noble was here. Uh, next we have 301. Department 301. 48,298,000. And the professional services there are what type of? That is our um, township attorney as far as ordinances go. Um, and also our, our planner that helps us with um, planning um, ordinances and our um, master plan and whatever we ask of him. And usually he's in front of the uh, planning and zoning. Just, just the, the township attorney and the planner? Just those two. I, I believe so. 
I would have to go and see if there's anything else. There might be something else thrown in there, but generally, yes. So, for would anybody like to make a motion for I'll, I'll make a 301? Motion. Make a motion to accept Department 301 for $48,298 as presented. Support. Okay. Roll call. Mr. Gamko? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Ms. Scheibsager? Actually, Mark, there might be other professionals that the attorney hires that might be included in that we're line gonna, item. We're not going to throw other attorneys in. We're not, not going to go to other attorneys and throw that in. If, if we might, if he rec if he needs other, um, sometimes we'll ask for things from the court or um, other services, and they can be included. And sometimes that will be in the, the invoice of the attorney, so you might not really see it. Um, and sometimes we're billed separately. But it will be clarified, whatever does come, you will see it. Yes. So Department 400, Planning and Zoning, 43265 Anybody like a motion? Make a motion to accept Department 400 for $43,265 as presented. Yamka. Support. Walls. And again, the, the services here under contractual is Safe Built Studios, which is our planner. It's divide, divide, divided up into two different, depending on what type of, if it's planning or if it's um, ordinance enforcement. Building. <laughs> building. Oh, in the building. Okay. Well, that's confusing because we do code enforcement in-house in -house to enforce our violations, you know, within the township. And then we also, also the company that we um, contract with, that is our building department, is called Code Enforcement Services. Right. So that is confusing. Um, but so we have... Two Are they different. Supported mostly by the fees that we pay them as the, the building department is going to be a different department in this budget. Mm -hmm. So right now we're talking about um, what we do in house. Yep. And the amount increased because of the master plan and the park plan are to be renewed every five years, and we will be having the planners address that. So that's the increase on that light item. Well, I have a. Um, I wanted to say something, Diane. Um, ordinance enforcement, planning, and let me see other one. Is it? Building and grounds, facilities management. Mr. Plews has paid all those three accounts, and he got a five percent increase on all of them. Why can't we put Mr. Plews? He makes forty six thousand one hundred seven dollars. Why can't we put Mr. Plews under one account and pay him out of that, rather than three separate accounts? I don't know. It's always been broken down because he does multiple jobs. Paul, are you okay with that? Because it seems it'd be simpler if you just had him in one. He doesn't do it. I do it. No, you do well, it. Well, they go ahead, and right. that's the way they did it because he does multiple jobs. And, right. You know, that's fine. It'd be easier to pay him under one. What's, what's the description yeah, of the maintenance? Change it. What kind of maintenance does he do, please? At the. He reports to the supervisor. Yeah. Lots of different things. Give, give me a list of five. I don't have a list with me, but he does. Uh, we actually work together. For instance, we hired plant painters, and so somebody has to manage that. Does he do any manual? Maintenance? And then yes, yes, he does. He came out and he, yeah, I give you an example. He shovels all the snow around here. So on the yeah. as an example, when I come in, the uh, handicapped area is shoveled, so we don't have anyone. He also does the front. This here periodically, uh, when we have a hard rain, the, the coffee room will go ahead and uh, flood. He comes in, he cleans it up, he mops it up. Just two things that comes to my mind and uh, things that have. And this is the girl that does it. And, uh, not the, the handicap ram? That's other. No, they don't. I, that's a good thing. We should have them do that because it would be nice to come in and already have it done because it takes sometimes over an hour to do, depending on how much snow we got over the weekend. If, if something, if we put salt in the softener, you know, um, we'll, he'll 
if something breaks in the furnace room, if he can repair it, changing light bulbs, if it's something he can assess. But, I mean, we can move him into one Is, is there any maintenance custody. that goes in the old township hall? He does go to that, He yep. does. He, he takes care of the toilets in there? No, no. No, no one takes care of those because we've been in there and the traps are all dried out and the sewage is coming in your gag as you come in. I've never yeah, noticed never that. Been in there. Oh, I go in there. Well, was in there last I, week. I guess, I guess you're immune to the smell. Yep, I guess so. Does he help everybody? Diane, does, does he help the clerk when the clerk needs help? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, a bigger issue. Absolutely. Like the chairs, if these get chairs get moved, he moves they, the, chairs. the chairs will get moved back. No, I th we we actually have a line item to do that. that we use NACLA for that because it's not here and they bring it in. I've been in, Diane. I've come in to move the equipment in and out for her so she can get it inspected. How's he mark on here? He's not. I tried I to give her a raise too, but that's just like what I. Yeah, nobody got ten percent. Um, where were we? We're at, we, Is he we the had, supervisor assistant? No, I have an assistant. Oh, I didn't know. Why do you need yeah. an assistant? Yeah, we have a motion on the floor. We have a motion here. I, I made motion to accept. Gampkin and Walls. Sorry, I made a FOIA asking what your assistant. Okay, we're, it, I'll allow comments, but it, let's stick to the, not, yeah, let's get the budget done. <laughs> Motion from GAMP, the support from Walls for Planning and Zoning Department 400. Roll call, please. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Scheib Snyder? Yes. Zoning Board of Appeals? I make a motion to accept uh, Department 410 Zoning Board of Appeals for $969 as presented. Support. Motion from Gamco. Support from Walls. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamco? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Scheibsider? Yes. Uh, Department 463 Public Works. Why do we have money in there for recycling still? Um, that is actually, we kept that line item and we call it, uh, because no has is under it, what we do with the county. Okay, so um, we and then it. also we do the shred it. Oh, okay. So both of those are under recycling. And cleanup day, last year we only spent thirty-seven sixty-nine. What? On cleanup well, day. that was because the cleanup day was there were two in different fiscal know, year. Remember, this, this is a, the first column is um, for. Well, maybe um, it hasn't been. It, it hasn't come in. The bill hasn't, hasn't come in. It hasn't come in yet. This the actual amount. Activity through six thirty. The, the, I don't think the bills come through yet. They they, they I think they will be paid before. Okay. If they're not paid, there'll be an accounts payable. It, it takes a little Last while. Last year we had two cleanup days on one fiscal year. Remember because of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. This, was, year, that was this year we the, have one. It was in May. That was yeah, actually we haven't gotten the bills yet through, for that. Yeah, because they were on the bills. They were on the bills thing. They were on the the bills to pay. Well, whatever they are, I, we'll put them in account. We'll put them. I'll make sure they get to the accounts payable. I go through that yeah. in July and. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions? Did we have a motion? No motion yet. Does anybody want to make a motion on Department yeah. Four Sixty Three? I'll make a motion to accept Department 463 for $152,002 as presented. Support. Balls. Have a roll call, please. Ms. Balls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Scheib Sider? Yes. Yes. That usually is gravel, and we didn't buy any this year. And I do know I do know a couple roads, or at least one that is really sandy, and they're having really a lot of problem. Every time it rains, they pretty much bottom out, and I'm hoping that we can help them. But I'm waiting for um, the Oakland County Road Commission and their legal department to um, come up with 
um, something we can, a plan. I've been out there several times meeting with residents and it's, um, it's South Street and um, Cole. Tipsco Lake. Yeah. South and Cole, yeah. And it's, it's, it's horrible there. And they have an easement and that's the problem. South Street, Cole Street, the northeast corner of Tipsco Lake, off the Mode Road. And also I have in here the reserved account maintenance. I'm, I put uh, $10,000 in there. I'd like to have Rose Township start um, putting some money towards federal aid help and maybe possibly looking into paving one of the Rose Center roads. Um, I have a resident that meets with me and calls me periodically and he would like Rose Center Road from um, Hickory Ridge to the township line, which it's, I guess, paved from there on out. Um, I'm not saying yes to him for sure, but I think it's if we can start putting some money away, um, with if we can qualify for the federal aid when I'm on the federal aid committee now. So I'm, I kind of did that so I can get my foot in the door and learn about uh, how to uh, do this through a ways out. But if we started to um, put a little capital money away for a while, maybe it's something we could consider putting on, being put on that list. I know some of the residents said they'd move out if that happens. Well, I would, I would make I sure the residents knew. Oh, I, I've heard both, both sides. Yeah, I some have to. Some are adamant they want it paved. Others are like, no way. But I'm It'll talking. It'll be like a freeway going down Rose Center Road. Well, I only do 55 down that road, so. <laughs> you know, it's it's a slide road, you didn't you know, a freeway when they paved that. I mean, that's a 35 mile an hour zone through there. Yeah. It's strictly enforced by Olson yeah. County. <laughs> Oh, I saw I've seen that. them down there. There were several pulled over the other day. Okay, so we have Department 463 Public Works and motion from Hampton Mall. Yes, so we already did. Yep. We yeah. said yes. Oh, and I backed up. It was my fault. So okay, was Department. Talking, oh, hang on. Gisela was talking about this road maintenance going from 850 to 30,000. That's what you were talking about. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't understand you. Okay, the 850 was activity. So, right. and what we also use road maintenance for is the Fragmite and the Knotweed. We have it with with the road commission. Uh, mm. We we partner with them, oh, we and the SISMA. So, um, yeah. yeah. So that's part of that. And our Fragmite is pretty much. I, I think it's pretty much under control compared to a lot of areas. Yeah. yeah. I swallow or isn't. No, it's swallow or not. It's out of control. So Department 660, Citizen Services. We have um, Hollier Youth Assistance and OSHA, Seniors and Youth. I'll, I'll make a motion to accept uh, Department 660, Citizen Services for 10000 as presented. Example. And walls. What, what does that consist of? I'm quite interested. That's OSA. That's the, you know you were getting the meals on wheels? That's OSA. Well, I paid for that too. Uh, meals on wheels is OSA? I thought it was mm -hmm. a different branch. Well, they, they do services for or people. for eighty services for seniors. Well, I, I paid for that uh, meals on wheels when it mm -hmm. come, but. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's different than, I, I, I'm not going to argue about it, but I wasn't sure it was the same thing. There's other services. If you want to, come and see us, and we can let you know what they offer. You can look online at it. It's Oakland Livingston. What services it? agency. Mm -hmm. so, is, that, is that our? We might even have a, I don't yeah. know if we have a brochure upstairs or not. Yeah, we, got, we can yeah. help you with that. Is that the CBDG money? That we no. No. Okay. No. And this is in the Holly. This is in the CDB for either one of these. This yeah. is a contribution that we give, and I just actually wrote vouchers to pay for last year because you can see we didn't do it yet. Mm. Mm. Okay. So department um, six sixty. Mm. I don't think we voted. I don't think we voted on six sixty yet. Yeah. 
660 Citizen Services. Could I have a roll call, please? Mr. Gamko? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. <clears throat> Ms. Walls? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. Department 7, I'm sorry. Oh, it was a 7. 751, Parks and Rec. 52,500. I make a motion to accept Department 751. I got a question on that. Gamka. When, when is the, uh, the, is there a support? the material going to be put underneath the swing set? Support balls? Near yes. the fire department that people were asking about that you have the swings for. Um, yeah, I did, I did purchase those swings a few years back. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, around COVID time, um, everything stopped. And I reached out to several people because I can't find anybody who can engineer the ground and so if you dig a hole and you fill it with wood chips and it rains what happens so I talked to our, our engineers that we use and they couldn't help me and I reached out to several other people but I just recently did find somebody that can help me with that and it depends on the height of the structure that is there and the swing of the structure that is there. And then you have to determine the, the depth of the play surface. And there's different types. And it's not just regular wood chips. They're actually play surface wood chips. And so there's a code that they have to be set to. Now, we're on a hill at Civic Park. And if it rains and we have a hole with wood chips, they're all going to go into the pond. So I, it's not just... Throwing wood chips under the swing. I never suggested so, um, other facilities use a composite rubber material. Yeah. And I'm sure that the school system has engineers and uh, vendors that do that in their facilities. And you yeah. can just copy, you don't have to That's, you know, reinvent the wheel. You can talk to them. Oh, I'm aware that there's other types of things, actually. I, I, I'm actually, a, I actually took, I got a, took class and became certified in playground, in playground safety. <laughs> because we didn't have anybody here for park and rec, so I took it upon myself to learn to benefit the township. It's only been four years or more, so. What, what is the park The rubber? Yeah, I wouldn't use the rubber. Diane, what's the 50, okay, $40,000 for park improvement, what does that entail? That's going to be the ground surface and possibly some type of structure if we can get a, a surface in. Diane, was that offered to anybody else that what you just went through? That training you just went through for Parks and Rec? Was it offered to anybody else? Anybody else on the board? Uh, no, I just got this, a... This is the first I've heard. Oh, this was a few uh, years ago. It was an email, and I just answered it, and it was um, done through, uh, I mean, that's what, like, people that work for and actually do that for a living, they take these classes. So it was a two-day course, and it was, um, it was at, actually, I think, um, one of the parks, Oakland County Parks. Things, things like that should be brought up in these meetings, so maybe we can get other people involved. It was a few years ago I did this, so I might have talked about it back then. I don't recall. <laughs> I, I, I got a certification in it. I'm sure environmental wood solutions in Albert Hills would be more than happy to donate the wood chips. The play they do have the environmentally safe and everything else. They manufacture them. They're mm -hmm. playground wood chips? Mm -hmm. yeah, they have everything. Oh, okay. They make wood chips. Mm -hmm. What is it called? Environmental Wood Solutions mm -hmm. on Giddings Road in Auburn Hills. All of this stuff, Diane, you need, you need to bring it up to the public because so, you have know, input from all kinds of people. I didn't have a problem getting the wood chip. I had somebody a problem with somebody engineering the, the, the oh. so they don't just float away. Rose Pioneer might have some information on that. <clears throat> they have I, I have reached out to schools and uh, other places, and actually the last people I worked um, with are going to, or have to do with the park. Oakland County Parks are helping me. Out of curiosity, how many people use that park? Is it well attended? When they play ball, it's a place for kids to go. And um, there's, since there's a small subdivision across the street, I think it would be a plus for the community because you can walk across the street and, you know, go and play in a park. And those, uh, that neighborhood has smaller um, parcels compared to a lot of Rose Township. So I think it would be used. Let's vote. Okay, so we have Parks and Rec. Motion for Gamble supports from Walls. Roll call, please. No, Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls, yes. Mr. Gamble, yes. Ms. Shipesider, yes.
Uh, we have contractual services, which that you might wonder what that is. It's the library. We pay to use the Holly Township Library. You can get a free library card. Um, the amount is six thousand six hundred dollars, or six hundred ten dollars. Apartments seven ninety. Anybody like to make a motion? Tell you how many people from Rose Township use it? They can. Yeah, it's not a huge a lot. Last time I asked, a huge amount. Last time I asked, but they do have the their, the the friends of the library. Most of those people live in Rose Township. More people live in Rose Township for the friends of the library than they do in Holly. So there are people that are active in it, you know, do the book clubs and things. And I recently started having events here with the library. Actually, Sunday they're going to be here um, in the up, upper level. And you can come get a free library card and check out. She brings books with her when she comes. Not obviously the whole library, but there are books you can check out. And we've been trying to do that every couple months now. We've done two events like that. I make a motion to accept Department 790 contractual services for uh, $6,610 as presented. Support. Gamka and Walls. May I broke off, please? Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Shepsider? Yes. <clears throat> Emergency Management Department 999. Okay, this is money we set aside in case we ever have an emergency. We have access to some money, some money so um, could we stop using it for the cleaning? We just were actually doing that for COVID. So whoever who's having the cleaning, um, I've asked him to quit sanitizing. So he's just gone back to his usual cleaning. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to reserve that money in case we need it. Yeah, he stopped. Yes. Break that. You, I understand that you have cleaning done here and waste removed twice a week. Can you break that down to cost per day on that? Have to look at his billing to do that. Debbie could do that. Yeah, approximation. Okay. How much is in there? Three fifty a month. Five thousand dollars. For an emergency mm -hmm. management, which wasn't supposed to be used about for cleaning. A month, Mr. I just wanted access to some money if there was an emergency, because all townships sh should, and that's actually not a very large amount, to be honest with you. But if there was an emergency and we needed to, I don't know, board something up or... Um, Twice a week. The federal government, actually, before you can even apply to use federal aid, expects you to use some of your budget and have it there. So... Um, that's something we did a few years ago based on that. So Department 999, did anybody support? Who was the motion? Gamka, want to give me a motion? Or Wallace? I'll make a motion to accept Department 999 emergency management as presented for $5,000. Support. Any other discussion? Could I have a roll call, please? Mm -hmm. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Shepsider? Yes. Can I have a motion, Can I have a motion on um, the total for Fund 101? Thank you. And I did make a note of that. <laughs> so we have a beginning fund balance. So net appropriations. It's confusing. Two oh three one three eight six. Okay. Two oh three one three eight six. Motion from is that you Gamka? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Support from Walls. Walls. Roll call. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Ms. Scheibsider? Yes. Which one did you 
All right. Oh, we're just going to do the total um, appropriation at this time. Thanks. Next, we have Appomattox Drive maintenance fund. Did you discuss the budget with Mr. Did I discuss it with them? I discuss it with everybody for their for their cost center, or they just give me their numbers. Did you, talk, did you talk to Mr. Gamka about his, his, his treasury numbers? He, he, he verbally gave me his numbers, yes. Okay. You can verbally give them to me, or you can, uh, you know, he gave me what the increase was, or you can write it down. Why is that screen between you three and the clerk? What did you do, Debbie? That's a bad I don't know. <laughs> uh, there was one here, and I cannot hear through it. You can hear through what? Those screens. There were several of those before. Right. But there's the only one that's up now. Are between I took it down the before the meeting. I they they were there. left here from something you guys did recently. Then who put them up? I don't know. Oh, they, it was, they, were, they must have been night, put up for the zoning, zoning board, board meeting. I, I was upstairs oh, working. Somebody put them up last night. night. I just left it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Fund 201, Epimetics Maintenance Fund. <laughs> We have revenues. We don't really have to approve these. The special assessment districts, we could do them as, it's actually on the resolution. So we could do, um, make a motion to approve the revenue and the expenses for the Fish Lake Weed Control, Lake Bramer Special Assessment D District, Tipsicle Lake Special Assessment District, Street Lighting Special Assessment District, and Adi Way Drive Maintenance District. Make a, just made a motion for all three for to receive rep, to approve the revenues and expenses. Did you do that? Uh, you yeah, motion by Scheib Snyder. I'll support. Support from Walls. Could I have a roll call, please? Uh, Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls, yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Scheibsider? Yes. The motion carries. So you want to do appropriations on all this ads then? I just did a um, motion for revenue and expenditures. Yeah. For all the special For all the special yeah. assessment for all the special assessment just for all the special assessment. Yeah. And so... Fire fund, is that what comes up next? Yeah. So we need to do a motion for fire fund. For um, appropriations and expenditures. You want to call? Uh, I make a motion to accept fund 206 fire fund for revenues and expenditures for as presented. Any discussion? Well, that's without this. This is um, without the as things now stand. So if we get our tax money in, if it gets accepted, then this will be amended. Right. So, what dollar amount do you want to use? One million seven seven six for appropriations. I would do eight hundred eighty-eight thousand. Eight hundred eighty-eight thousand is what we're putting in. Yep. Okay. Eight hundred eighty-eight. Roll call. Miss Walls. Yes. Mr. Gamco. Yes. Miller, yes. Ms. Scheibsider. Yes. Next we have the cemetery fund. Make a 
make a motion to approve the revenues for this cemetery fund, thirty-five thousand eight hundred dollars. Scheib Snyder, any support? I support. Gamka, in discussion. Um, what was the dollar amount? Thirty-five eight hundred. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And you never pay them back. Where is my budget? There is. I'm missing a Um, let's see. You're saying that you want 35.8, and I had asked for 38.8. Why is the capital outlay down so much? Because we've already spent almost 27000 and next year's budget only has $10,000. We put in fences for the last three years okay. that were in, I, I, I don't know, the first one was the most expensive, right? That was around, what, 45? First one was BB, the second one was Brooklyn, and, and Rose Center they're finishing right now. So in the last three years, we have um, put in the, each year we put in a fence, so we budgeted for that. So, so we're not expecting that to put in. Not that amount, no. We had to put in a new flagpole. We had to put. We had to fluff the um, no, I the roads. Yeah, I just wondering why they drop. So um, we have three signs that we still have to purchase that are for at least six thousand dollars. Thank you. So those are already designed and um, we'll be ready to go soon. Well, Mr. Stern's been very instrumental in finding these people to. Like the man that just fluffed uh, the roads, so it looks beautiful. If you drive through BB and drive through Rose Center, it's definitely gorgeous now. And the Milford fence is finishing the Rose Center fence right now. Sorry. And yeah, it's looking really nice. Looks, you know, presentable, much better than it used to. And um, Mr. Klaus is taking really good care of the cemeteries since he's part of the cemetery uh, investment. He wants to make sure everything looks beautiful. Could I have a roll call, please? What's, who made the motion, Diane? Was it you? Uh, yep, and Gamka supported. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Scheibsider? Yes. CDBG, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fun two four five. You can do the revenues and appropriations. Can I make a motion to accept fund two forty five CDBG uh, receipts and disbursements as presented? Support. Gamka. Walls. Any discussion? Dollar amount? 15,000? 15,000 revenue? 15,000? Yeah. Expenditures? Um, appropriations, yep. Okay. Roll call? Yes, please. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. 
building inspection fund. And the amount of total total estimated revenues eighty one thousand five hundred. And total appropriations I have fifty nine thousand one hundred. I'll move on that. That's building fund um, a two four nine. Wait a minute. On your uh, um, department three three seventy one. I'm sorry. Scratch that. One forty four six eighty seven. There's nothing in the building inspection fund. So de department three seventy one. Same amounts. Um, uh, move to approve. I'm sorry. Three seventy one. Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls, yes. Mr. Gampa, yes. Shake Center, yes. Motion carries. Next, we have the PEG Fund. Department 255 PEG. Revenue. Public education. So we get money through, um, I guess it's Comcast, to um, educate the public through our channel. We have a channel um, on PEG or on Comcast. So if you have Com if you have Comcast video audio, you can watch our channel, which is I don't even know what num what number is it because I don't have it. Twenty twenty one. We have a channel there where we can put things, and they give us money to um, do improvements. Anything that actually affects the videos or anything. And so one of the improvements, we wanted to replace the camera and start doing some different type of streaming here. That is what I put money in the budget for. Well, your governor wants Right. That's what. That's that's what we discussed doing here. But we did the other pig improvements first, and when those pig improvements were done, we were going to discuss doing the other things. And so that's where we're at now. Well, the Zoom is part of the new equipment for down here for the recording and for Zoom is part of it. May I ask when that? Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Um, hopefully in the next what month or so. Yeah, it's on a ship somewhere. Yeah. So we might expect to have live access. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thought. I thought at the point when we discussed purchasing this, we decided not to get the Zoom till we did the other upgrades. But it's just part of it. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't aware it was part of it. I believe you are. Yes, we did discuss waiting, and then we discussed upgrading the microphones and the camera, camera. system, and then the speakers in the ceiling. Right. That would be what I set this money aside for, and of course we could, the amount can be raised if we need it. You know, we can amend it if we, but that is what we would be seeking yeah, it's out just next. The equipment, um, it's having a hard time. You know, yeah, that, everything is behind. It's very outdated. Mm -hmm. It's very outdated. It broke. Yeah, I would um, just actually look at the camera, and I'm like, that's not even the usual camera. <laughs> no, he said somebody broke it. So um, somebody just, broke our that's, that's his, the other camera. Yeah, that's his camera on loan. Just so we oh, this is about loans. Oh, that that's nice his him. camera, not ours. Okay. So we have to be very careful that we don't break his camera. Hmm. Did so, you record who broke it? No, I didn't get that, you know. He's a cop. He should know that. It's not that. <laughs> we don't have those type of cameras down here. <laughs> no, I, on, the other, on the contrary, I'd like to have camera and audio access everywhere here. So 
So I have a motion for um, myself. And did anybody support me? Oh, did you make the motion? I'll support it if you made it. Sure. Yes. Motions for the revenue and the revenue at eighty-one thousand five hundred, and the appropriation at fifty-nine one hundred. For the yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. You're, you're on the I'm, wrong I'm page. going on the wrong page, so I'm sorry. That was for the your revenue. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, total revenue is eighty-one thousand five hundred for um, department three seventy-one. No, we. Am I going we're backwards? We're on two fifty-five. Peg fund. <laughs> Jeez. How did I do that? So, all right, I'm sorry. 255 peg. Yeah. I did not make a motion. Okay, you just did, and I seconded it. <laughs> okay. I made a motion for that. Support by Walls. Yeah. Revenue, 32,100. In the resolution, the, the uh, expenses are thirty thousand five hundred. Yeah, thirty thousand five hundred. Revenues yeah. of thirty-two one and uh, expenses of thirty thousand okay. five hundred. Put that in the motion then. Yep. Okay. We need to go. Why is the balance Because you can only use it for certain things. I'll use it for this equipment. Yeah, well, yeah. these like these microphones were eight thousand dollars. Then they're good; they're really good microphones. But you know, if it was like, like coming out of a different pocket, it's two thousand. Yeah, yeah minimum three hundred grand. Right. Yeah, and you can only use it for. Mm -hmm. We have to have funds to replace everything. And Uh, a lot. Probably a hundred, hundred thousand. Quite a bit of money. Three times. Mm hmm We're covered. Well, if you can think of anything else, we can spend it on less now. No, it's very specific what you can spend it on. Mm hmm Okay, so where are we at? Voting. Two, voting five, five. Cable administration wages. We're voting on the peg plan. Can I have a motion? Uh, roll call, please. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. Thank you. Infrastructure? Infrastructure funds. <clears throat> Anybody like to make a motion for their revenue? Thank you. A motion to um, accept fund 402 infrastructure fund for 17000 Three hundred and two dollars, and there's no uh, disbursements planned on that. Support. Yamka Walls. Roll call, please. Ms. Walls. Yes. Mr. Gamka. Yes. Ms. Miller. Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner. Yes. Motion carries. Trust and agency fund seven hundred one. Make a motion to. Uh, Except fund 701 trust and agency for, um, doesn't show anything in here, but um, in, as, as presented here, which is just interest income on the, um, on the escrow account. Support. Gamka, Walls, well, we Wilco. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Walls, yes. Yeah. Yes. Tax fund. 703 tax fund. All right, fund 703 tax fund. I make a motion to accept um, the estimated revenues of $600 for the um, tax fund and as presented. Support. Gampkin Walls. 
Can I have roll call, please? Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls, yes. <clears throat> Mr. Gamko, yes. Ms. Scheibsider, yes. Looks like weed. We don't have to do those. Do we? I already did weed in that one motion. Oh, did you? Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. Yep. And, uh, we do all of the rest of these. What's that part of the motion? Tipsico Lake. Okay. Yeah, but she did a whole bunch of them all at once. Yeah. Didn't say Holly Shore's lights. Um, street lighting FAD. And she did say all. Yeah. Oh, so all special assessment yeah, district yeah. and street lighting FAD. So. I think that's. Like Raymer. We have the fire budget in here, which we already approved by. Okay, so I do have a resolution to back up what we just did. So this is the um, resolution, and it has the taxing that we just discussed. The um, what is it called? Appropriations. Yeah, it talks about the mills. The Rose Township Board shall cause to levy and collect the general property tax on all real and personal property within the township upon the current tax rule. An allocated millage of 0 0.9590 mills for township operations and zero mills for fire protection and emergency medical services. Of course, we'll have to revisit this after November. Mm -hmm. So we have a resolution. It has all the cost centers, the totals. Funds I'm going to have to change the cost center for total expenses. We're going to have to add to the general fund revenues. No, not revenue. Um, expenses. Expenses, it repeats itself a few times here. Total expenses. Plus $15,000. Make that correction. And then again, it repeats total expenses. Everybody agree with that? 